trying not to talk too much, I'm trying to make you think. This is for the engine coolant temp sensor. This was broke. Housing's broke. Or the yeah, the, the housing here. And there was a problem in the circuit. Found out that this was the issue. Now they marked these two wires black, and as you can see, this is yellow and I guess tan. So the only way to identify would be in this case, if you match these up, you would know that if you match these up. It's how it's supposed to be. Um, that on this would be the yellow wire, and this would be the tan wire. So yellow wire is the outside, tan is this one. So. Strip that real quick. I'm going to grab, uh, oh, I guess, two of the red butt connectors. See how much room I have in here. I don't like using these because they're too big and I don't feel they're that effective. But I'm gonna get in there and see what I can do to strip this down. Just enough for the butt connector. This is probably 20 or 18 gauge. This is a General Motors Express. 3500 6 liter engine coolant temp sensor call it a pigtail replacement I need a little more off than that this is hard to get my hands in here now this would be really hard if I didn't already have the fan shroud off and all the other stuff so you got to take everything off to get to this it is a little more difficult to get to the doghouse if you take that off from inside, I've never done them that way. I've always done them this way. I did this on my Suburban. Same motor. Not sure why the, it's not focusing. Let me zoom in. Nope. Zoom out. Try not to bump the phone either. I have it like propped. I wish they would give the weather tight um, connectors for splicing these but they don't see there's that's better um, I should have went and got my other wire strippers I mean these work it's just they're so long for this small area And I don't know why it's not focusing. It's like, focus, Danielson. So, trying to remember now. Come back to our trusty cheater. Here we go again. So as I'm going to do this, I'm going to do the one closest to me. I'll do the yellow. Yellow is going to go on this one right here. So that'll be this outside one. 
Looks like they, I don't know if that's enough stripped off, but let's see. So I'm gonna put one in of the butt connector. Here, let me show you that again. Sometimes you have to twist the wire. I like to twist these, make sure it's in all the way. The other one in. All right, grab it in the middle on the little red dot. This is where these wire strippers are great because for the crimping. Then I give a squeeze up here and another squeeze down here. And then check it pull on them and this one feels like it didn't didn't quite tighten in there so squeeze it some more so I hate these I may end up just taking this back off and putting on uh, the weather tight ones I thought I had them but I figured for the video I'd just kind of demonstrate how this is done Not really supposed to have to squeeze it that many times, but if it holds. Nope, let's we'll see that. Came right off. How this should really be done is it should be soldered, not twist. <laughs> not twist. I'm going to take a little more wire off and see if it'll work with another butt connector. Oh, this video is already getting longer than I wanted it to be. Hmm. Alright, looks like my phone's sliding down. Try this again. A little twist on it. Stick it in. Now these wires are probably going to overlap now. Hopefully, take up some of the slop in this connector. And that's just ball up in there. I do not like these. But right now, just for this, for the video, now this should only have to be one squeeze in the middle. I'm gonna go on and squeeze one closer to the end. October 12th, 2021. So now we're tight. This is tight. It's not coming out. This is tight. Now for the other one. Take more off that. Yeah, I think 
as of now, and now a lot of my videos, I don't use thumbnails or anything like that so far. Some people said I should. But I got like 80, 85 videos. Up to date since 2012. So I'm a slow, slow videoer. But maybe one day someone will search and this video may help somebody. Yeah, the factory wire from this General Motors is very it's thinner than the repl than the replacement pigtail. By it, this is probably 20 gauge. This is 18, and the insulation is a little bit thicker with the thicker uh, wire. I can't believe how warm it is still outside. Of course, with this big box truck, this Express Chevy box truck, I can't get this in my garage, so I'm uh, restricted to the weather. You know. Gotta grab me another one of these connectors. All right, got it. I know it's hard to watch, huh? Yeah, I usually, when something like this, especially close to the motor, I want to solder them, but I'm uh, still working on this. I was doing the oil pump. Had the oil, you know, oil pans off and all that good stuff, and it started raining. So I stopped. Make sure this one's in. I'm gonna hold both. I'm gonna put this one in and kind of fill for it to make sure it's not balling up. Okay, it feels like it went in, kind of like putting cards together. So those are in. Give it a few squeezes. Always keep a watch to make sure the wires and pull out. And I'm gonna explain something here as soon as I get this on. Let's make sure it's tight. This is my work truck and I don't want to go back and do this. Again, I'm gonna tape it up pretty good here. I don't have any of that aluminum insulation to wrap back around, that's why I try not to take off too much. All right, we're checking it, we're good. electrical tape time and yeah I like to, usually like to use the bulldog tape but this is all I got right now and I actually have some room to wrap this around like a million trillion times yeah I could have slipped on that little piece that I slipped off but I decided not to I know you guys can't see, I'm just going round and round. It's just better to do it this way, now, instead of plugging it in. That's kind of like what I was going to explain. And how these two wires are black. Um, and there wasn't anything identified on the wires as far as a stripe, a dotted line, a plus sign, negative sign, nothing. So you just kind of had to go by where the, it's not only two wires, I mean, <laughs> go by, like this was the yellow, I believe, and this was the tan, or tan and yellow, or yeah, I think it was tan and yellow. And that's it. Um, I still have to replace 
I don't have to, but I'm going to replace that engine coolant temp sensor since I have the room while I'm doing the other work on this truck. I'm going to wrap it all the way up. And I just usually just grip it tight and just pull it like that. And uh, not in the video, but I am going to come back and wrap this. But that said, this is for the engine coolant temp sensor. And now it should plug in and hold nice. See? And the heat probably tore it up. And you just lift, you just pull back on this a little bit and it comes out. Cause that all messed up like the other one. And yeah, all I had left was this little bitty piece, so. I'm going to get the other type that you wrap around and then they have the aluminum tape like this. Um, and what you got to do, be careful now, this is it's taped because it's near the motor. I mean, it has this stuff on it. It's near the engine, this exhaust manifold. So when this goes in, naturally this wire is longer now. Just make sure that you zip tie it somewhere on something that's going to stop it from rubbing or getting uh, messed up again. You don't want to tie it to the uh, spark plug wire. This reminds me, these uh, coils don't look too good. <laughs> They've been in there for a while, so I'm going to have to tune this thing up too. Alright, and that is my Chevy Express.